On the island of Ilustra, the tropical climate supports a typical island ecosystem. Located on the Atlantic margin of the Bahamian archipelago, the low-lying island receives roughly 110 centimeters of annual rainfall, and the water surrounding it is smolished by the Antilles current from the south. Despite these favorable natural conditions, Ilusra's poor soil prevents the development of a stable plantation agriculture, and the flash and burn approach is adopted by the settlers. The dominant vegetation on the island is therefore characterized by low shrubs and trees, also known as coppice, that have regenerated from such human disturbance. A terrestrial crustacean species inhabits this coppice. Although it still depends on the ocean for early larval development, the land crab Cacarchinus lateralis is highly adapted to dry environments on the island. To conserve water, the crab avoids the tropical heat during the day in dense shrubs and becomes active a few hours before dawn. Through water permeable exterior membranes, it can slowly obtain water from damp soil. The limited access to salt on land and the crab's secretion of urine isosmotic to its hemolymph pose the challenge of osmoregulation. regulation. In fact, not only can the crab tolerate large fluctuations of hemolymph osmolarity, but it may also recycle ions from its urine with its gills and gut. The crab is primarily herbivorous. Its diet consists mostly of dead leaves, fallen fruits, and seedlings, but it is also an opportunistic counter of insects and small vertebrates, and may engage in cannibalism under certain circumstances. Similar to its Christmas Island relative, the land crabs undergo mass migration during breeding season. Although Eleusera has few roads, the cards still pose a threat to the foraging crabs. This roadkill land crab becomes the free launch of a laughing gale. <laughs>